So, we have got our reverse camera. Wireless, hopefully. Oh, let's hope I've ordered the right thing. There it is. Make sure it's got no wire in. That's it. I'm hoping that they, you don't have to put any in. And where's the, where's the camera? That's on the dash, that's the camera there, I think. No, it's not, it's the charger. That's it. That's the camera. Yeah. So we've got like... That's, that goes in our, in our um, van. It goes in the cab. Yeah. That's the camera. So. Let's have a look at that. Have a look at that. Let's have a look. Oh, it's exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. It's nice to have something that you don't have to wire in. Looking forward to that. Just literally, hopefully, what I'm hoping is you just stick it on the back. Yeah, that's. And if, you're done. That's if your wife has actually ordered the right thing. Yay! That looks good. What's this? Why wires. have we got wires? Why do we have wires? It's meant to be wireless. Hmm. Hmm. Now, this concerns me somewhat. Mm, concerned. It's not exactly wireless. This uh, camera goes on the rear number plate and we've got to bring it through the tailgate and connect it here to our reverse lights. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. Uh, so fortunately for me, there's little plastic rivets there for screwing the number plate on. Interestingly enough, even though we've got lovely little built-in screw holders there, plastic ones, to hold our number plate on, somebody's decided to forgo that and just drill holes in the bodywork anyway. God bless our British workers, always uh, paying attention to quality. But however, in this case, it's worked out all right because we can put this rather sizable connector through that hole that it's made. So this will go onto the back of the number. Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong thing. This will go onto the back of the number plate and uh, the wiring will then run across the top, pop through that hole, whereupon it will go along here, follow our number plate wiring come through here on the checks well below the check strap uh the one's missing off this one there should be on this vehicle there should be a little conduit proper conduit for this um for this door this one's missing so i'll replace that and for now i'll run the cable along there and run it up to here for, to my reverse light so we've got our ignition on in reverse that probe in the socket and that's the yellow wire there is our reverse wire so we do love a gadget don't we this is a battery powered soldering iron so you slide that on you push that button and there we go look straight into the heat so there's our supply which goes to the reverse light That's right. Thought I'd made a boo-boo then. So we have soldered into our reverse wiring. I've brought the earth through. We can tell it's the earth because it's black. And fortunately enough, there's a little earth node right there. So I've slackened that one, slackened that nut off. 
and then I can pop that little open connector in there. That'll be our earth. And then we'll tighten that up. So that's our earth and our live. So we'll just tape up our wire where we've gone in. We don't have to worry too much about this being watertight because it's all in board anyway. So all we want to do is tape it up to make sure that there's no bare no bare ends sticking out that can short out. So we can put that armor back over. Pop that back into our light. So that all sits in board there, so we don't have to worry about weather. There's a, there's a weather seal there. So we connect our light cluster back up. Pop it all back through the hole, making sure we don't trap. And then, I don't know if any of you know, but on these vehicles, you get two. They're supposed to be finger tight, but just in case they aren't, you can get a spanner on the end of it, or a pair of pliers in my case. These go on to the... These go on to the back of the light cluster. Hold it in place. Don't over tighten it, you'll only uh, hate yourself in the future. Just finger tight. Times like this, I wish I didn't have massive hands. That seems to be the only actual wiring you need to do. So we reversed, we've got our wire connected to the reverse light wire. So, in theory, the camera should power up as soon as that reverse light comes on. It's such a fiddle. So there's our wire in. And then I'll wrap all this up nice and neat. And uh, cable tie that up out the way. And we've got this connector here, which comes from our, that's the optical cable basically. That comes from our camera. That connects into there and obviously I'm going to tidy all this wiring up later but we can theoretically go and try it let's have a look so it comes with a, um, a little auxiliary connect uh, connector that goes into your SIG lighter um, that's not where I'm going to leave it I'm going to connect it and uh, put the wire in behind the dash because I don't want I don't want this trailing through. But for the purposes of this test, um, I've already got it in reverse. In fact, I won't do that. I'll turn the ignition on. And go into reverse. And there's our reverse camera. Can you go and model behind us? And uh, any pedestrians behind us? Yes, there is a pedestrian. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. 
So there we are, there's the camera fitted. It's on my uh, rear number plate. I've got the wires running through the back door, running along the inside of the door up to my reverse light. And then I've just tied the rest of the uh, cable in against a bit of conduit there to keep it out of the way. So it's not exactly wireless, but it's a small amount of fitting, I think, just wiring it into your reverse light. And you haven't got then loads of optical cables having to run right the way through the van, through your headlining. Still things a damn sight easier than your traditional one. And I think it's a better trade-off than the battery powered ones where you get a battery operated camera, which sits here, or you'd put it up there because probably people might nick it especially somebody who sees that you've got one and their lens is a bit fogged up or doesn't work anymore it's nothing to stop somebody having it away is there so i think on balance this is battery free and as fuss free as a battery free install gets uh, it seems to work pretty well so far it took me half an hour to fit it no big deal So I'm going to reverse it up to my blue bin. I think that that's probably the least damaging thing to drive into whilst I'm around here, I think. So let's see what happens. So my reverse sensors are saying stop, you're too close, which is just about on the red line. Yes, you were lucky. You were lucky I got a reverse camera on sunshine. Yep. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, when you've got about a foot left, you get your, you're on your red line. So, uh, yeah, happy with that. So I definitely made a bit of a boo-boo yesterday. I connected my reverse camera to the reverse wiring on the near side rear light cluster, saying it was the yellow wire that was wrong. That's the permanent live to the rear light cluster. So I've just done a quick check and connected it to the white wire on the rear cluster. And now we have the unit powering up only when I go into reverse. Apologies, only human. So now we have the unit. I've still got it plugged into the auxiliary socket at this particular moment, but I'm gonna have it on a, um, on a permanent feed from the fuse box and I'm going to run the wires nice and tidy across the dash. Uh, and by the way, before any of you go on about me having an earth fault on my dashboard, I haven't. It's the frame rate on the phone that's making it look like that. Uh, so yes, we have ignition on and we go into reverse and screen pops up and take it out of reverse and it shuts down. So pretty good, uh, literally one or two seconds before it reacts. Uh, nice clear image and it tracks well too, uh, as I said in the earlier video. So we can now button that all up. And just to reiterate, I went in on the white wire which is the reverse light feed. So now I've just got to insulate it up and we are done. And lastly, the other thing I was concerned about was that when I connected my reverse camera to the reverse wiring, I was mildly concerned that it would uh, upset my BCM uh, and then make it think that I had a electrical fault on the rear because it was drawing a current that wasn't expected. Turns out, no problems. We have no lights on the dash and everything is working properly. 
Nice little unit, that.